Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 35, Part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 28th of October, 2019. We are down a Lyco. Colin was a bit poorly and had to depart from us, so we're going to do our best Colin impressions um, for the rest of the show. Uh, here are the players. Oh, I'm still pain. I'm Zora. Zora. The best captain. I am also Nico. Greetings. I am Alex, and I played Nix5, the android. I was about to say assassin. Mechanic, that's the word. Swing some bad words. Hi, I'm Colin. I'm playing Lyco, the spooky. Okay, okay. Altogether cookie. Sticky, <laughs> Sticky boy. Yeah. But I'm not. Hello. I am Callum. I will be playing Zig, the Burning Sun. You're very quiet. Rat from Spain. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Rewind and do that again. Weep yep yep yep. Hi there, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig, the mystical space rat, Burning Sun, solar disciple of all your glory, s s discipleness. Thank God that was the word you chose to follow up that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Right. I was going to say holiness, and I was like, wait. <laughs> Your glory holiness. Yep. Um, so good. Uh, Never change, but also change everything. Um, okay. <laughs> Try. Don't, it's fine. That's We're difficult. all good. <laughs> so, I think I want to just open back up on, you know, Zora, to be honest. Let's just go back to Zora and see what happens next. I'll just be like... God damn it, just... Chip transferred VI to the show. <laughs> and then um, the kind of comms, like intercom of the shuttle. Right. Hello, Captain. Do you wish me to transfer my matrix to the shuttle craft for you? It's impossible to do it temporarily. <laughs> hey, once you transfer me, so long as I'm within range, I could transfer back. There should be no issue unless I became damaged. Would it be possible to <laughs> transfer you back once Elsie's control takes control of the ship? What's mm. the range? It's a transfer range. That's what and it gives you some kind of space range? I will check the, the space range to orbit. Is that possible? What is the space range to orbit? I don't know, I don't think <laughs> my physical sciences check, I guess. I'll, I'll ask the AI. I'll ask what's the space range to orbit. Yeah, I want a physical sciences check. Oh god damn it. Uh... Hearing the answer doesn't make you understand it anymore. Physical, I mean, I guess I'm like, I'll be using, my god, eh, uh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not this smart, okay, um, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> I'm not this smart. Like, can you fly? Like, I feel like that's where you focused your energies in manipulating gravity, not learning how far away things were. Oh, Maybe that's why you're a terrible shot. Because <laughs> you're really good with, like, your... Whatever it's called. I was going to call it a Domogesh, but it's definitely not a Domogesh. Doshko. <laughs> the Doshko. Lots of Ds, right? Um, um, so it says it's ill advised to transfer at long range. It could destabilize my matrix. Uh, what was the problems? God damn. You end up with a holly. <laughs> Might I also recommend syncing your comm device with the ship computer? I would do so. Yeah, that's done like as soon as you agree to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you could please uh, enter your command authorization, I will transfer my matrix to the shuttle. Uh, do so. 
Yep. Yep. I guess so. <laughs> and then like the um, com goes dead, and then the interface you like boots up, and then commands, Captain. Take us into the Versus orbit. The Versus. And you just hear like unbuckling of um, docking clamps, and then the Versus shuttle just like drops from beneath. Um, and like, you know, falls away from the ship, and then just starts making its way into orbit. Okay. I say into orbit, but into the atmosphere is what I mean. From orbit, you know, I mean space things. Yeah. So, do you input the coordinates for the civilian docking pad, or the one the Vesk commander guy gave you? Let's do the Vesk commander one, shall we? Yeah. So it's just like the kind of. Once you input the coordinates that you get, and you tell Final Hour to like pilot you there, it comes up like the location, and it's like Steward HQ on versus landing pad, whatever, blah 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 blah. Loads of just technical data about it, and then yeah, you just start making your way down there. I think for everybody else as well, um, you are obviously taken off to the um, the facility. Um, you don't really see much from the APC at all. Um, until you're like brought outside the APC and you're just kind of like ushered into like a building and you've just been put into like a room essentially. Um, Alice isn't with you guys though um, and you have been asked to obviously like not be in armour suits also. <laughs> so yeah, and these are all kind of put into like a holding room. I think as well, probably for the the sake of narrative excusing, um, I think Lyco probably flashed his uh, credentials to try and speak to somebody else that isn't Vesk. And he probably went off looking for Shakos or Babak. So he's probably not with Nix and Zig, who are in a room themselves. What happens? Um, I assume it's a pretty basic room, isn't it? Just nothing in it. Yeah, there's like two seats, a desk. I have discovered that I was muted. You are muted, ah. by the way, Alex. Yes. You're muted, Alex. <laughs> I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry, so we're in the same room, yeah? Yeah, so you and Zig are in the same room. You've been removed of your armour. Um, yes, I have just unequipped that on Royal yeah, County. The um, Lyco made excuses and wandered off. Um, being like, look, I'm actually, you know, with the band. So he's excused himself to go try and, like, clear this mess up with Babak, if he can find him. Um, so he's excused for the scene. And yeah. Is your left in this room yourselves? Alice, as I said, isn't with you either. I'm sick. Mm. Do you have any ideas? I'm kind of stuck in the muck on this one. Still quiet, by the way, Zig, just so you know. Yeah, you're quite I'm, quiet. I'll just move up a little bit. There we go. Steve. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck on this one. I'm not sure how we're going to get out of here. I'll be honest, I thought my I was going to be able to talk us out of this one, but apparently not. I thought being pretend honest would work. <laughs> we could... Mm. We could just leave. Can we? I mean, what's the door made of? Metal. I'm sure I can break through metal with something or other. Probably. You are disgustingly powerful. It's, I don't know if that's a good idea though. Hmm. That's a separate question. <laughs> we could ask them to let us out. Do you think they will? 
I'm sure if we explain the situation. Yeah, like why two androids in full battle armor. Are in I'm sure if we explain a situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe we should have the same situation just in case. <laughs> well, surely it makes sense for me to be in that big armor to run into those ruins to drag people out. Well, yeah. Makes sense. That's why I was wearing a hard hat. Exactly. We're prepared. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our story straight. That'll do it. I go and knock on the door. Cool. Knock on the door. There's no answer. <laughs> no. Okay. Ziggle knock as well. <laughs> yeah, there's no answer. What else Are do we have in this room? Are there any sort of like ventilation or? Um, no. There is. Um, it's kind of like a big grey, empty. Like you're, as if you're in a big grey cube. To be honest. Yeah. It's um, kind of like a holding cell. It's not. Yeah. Like there's as I said. They there's locked like, us in a room. It's like a desk, as I said, in the middle, and there's two seats, one at either side of it. And that's it. Hmm. Like a light above you, I guess. As well, like the lights probably like built into like the paneling on the ceiling. But everything looks like it's gonna maybe like heavy duty concrete or some some sci-fi crete. Um, bummer. Mm. That's annoying. I don't want to just go full. Let's break out. But I kind of do. Callum does. <laughs> um, uh, it's sometimes tough, isn't it? See, just as a player, when you're like, I, as a player, want this to happen, but my character would never allow that to happen. Why did I make this character this way? Yes. Well, ah, I'm survival. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah, so what's the plan? Team Zix. Can You've got to come back for us at some point, right? Can you get a message to the captain with your magic? No. <laughs> Short answer, no. Long answer, not yet. Can you open the door but make it look like an accident? Sure, I can try. And then we'll just, you know, go looking for someone to help. I know this door went the way of the diner. Help! Yeah. <laughs> help! These help. things oh are spontaneously God. exploding. Uh, Why is your rat glowing? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh God! Uh, do I just magic missile the door? I mean, shooting stars at the door. I mean, you tell me what you want to do. I will respond accordingly. Uh, do I? I did have my no space chamber. Wristband. Uh, Would they have uh, taken that away? Let's roll a sleight of hand. And let's see. For trying to pretend it's like a watch or some shit. Because they probably, did, if they took your comms, they probably took something like that. But we'll we'll see. Uh, yeah, they, they took it. Yeah, they took it. So they got um, my plasma cannon. Would it <laughs> be like significantly sound dampened, or would you be able to hear? Uh, you can't hear anything. Except you guys in the room. Like, even the mm -hmm. knock was quite kind of like dulled, maybe. I like the steel door. Like, clunk, clunk, clunk. Not like a an echoiness to it. Can I pick the lock? You don't see a lock? Can I make a lock? lock? Don't know. Can you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Sad, like, your Technomancer is lying on a stretcher yeah. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. This doesn't say anything about needing to be able to see where it is. Okay, this is interesting. I want to cast Ghost Sound. Right, do you want to let me know what page that's on? And I'll uh, have a perusal. 356. Let's have a look. This will be good. 356. That was actually not bad. 356. I'm doing a couple of pages away. Mm. 
Okay, interesting. So close range plus ridiculous levels when you level up. <laughs> yeah. It makes illusionary sounds. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's not specifically clear, but I also don't know if you actually can like make it appear out with um, some power of range, yeah. Like, hmm. I feel like me and Alex had a conversation about this um, a long time ago. Can you have, like, are you looking at ghost sounds just now, Alex? You're muted also. Magic! <laughs> I'm good at this. Um, so, ghost what? sound, it should be in the compendium anyway, I don't know why I reached from a book, maybe because I like having the book, but, um, ghost sound, I feel like there's like, you still need line of effect. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But I, I'd rather get the rule right because you don't know if you sent it 20 feet through that steel door, right? Is that going into a room attached to a corridor? You know, like you don't know. Yeah. Specifically. Um. Um. But no, like, I'll say, like, for now, I don't see anything that says it can't be done. And you were put in the room. So, if you wanted to make a noise outside the room, sure. Just outside the room, yeah. Yeah. But, that you're completely right. There is such a, a missing... Part of that. Does yeah, it I have any that targeting description? Uh, Just look in the compendium. What is it called? Ghost sound. Ghost sound. No, there's no target section for it. Yeah, that's why it's not really It's got school, casting time, range, effect, duration. So unless it's under effect, I don't know. Because effect says illusionary sounds. So I don't know if that's a whole thing. But if you want to pop it into the chat, if that's what we're going to try anyway, um, you can do that. I'll see if I can find any more information. Summon spells to create or summon things rather than effect present. You must designate the location where things what was uh, that last part, are sorry? to appear. Uh, you must designate. Uh, sorry, I'm reading the effect uh -huh. under the general spell rules. Uh, you must designate the location where these things are to appear, either by seeing it or de defining it. Okay, now that's fine. So yeah, you, cool. you can do this. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Okay, yeah. So it's uh, just literally outside the door. Was that near the poison rules out of interest? Uh, that was in the spell rules okay. on page 335. Three, cool. Perfect. At least that felt actually quite clear as an answer. Yeah. Nice. It happens. Look for it. Um, yeah, so you do that outside. The uh, the door. What type of noise are you making? A big, loud, sireny alarm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Does that work? Cast a spell for me. Cool. Uh, you hear nothing. I think it's soundproof. Okay. I will cast Detect Magic. Okay. I'll pop that into the, the jet. Yes, there we go. It took a while. Cool. Right, you cast Detect Magic, and yeah, you see that faint mist of magic emanating from Zig. No, oh, from the door or anything? Yeah, as in from Zig huh. through the door. Zig obviously, <clears throat> when he stops to talk to you, isn't specifically saying he's maintaining said spell. Like, what level are you? Seven, seven rounds. So, yeah, I'd say maybe it just probably dissipates as you look outside, maybe. You know? You see the, mm -hmm. the faint kind of after effect of it. So, you probably catch the end of that by the time you've done that. Mm hmm. Hmm. That seemed like his spell had an effect. You've definitely done something, Zig. 
Oh, I was making noise. Okay. But obviously we can't hear the which, noise. Which noise? Oh, it was something like wee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Zora. Because I think we cut <laughs> on that, and it is <laughs> Zig's noises of wee, wee, and then it, that f like audio fades into the ship landing beeps and whistles and chirps as um, uh, the final hour VI is like uh, docking in five, four, three, two, one, and there's the thud of the clamp setting the, the pad. Okay. <clears throat> Will exit the vehicle. Post haste. Yep. And I think um, as like you leave the the shuttle, um, there's like a vesk waiting on you, and um, there's also uh, the shot from inside the shuttle, and it's just the the AI kind of calms or the VI calms, and just I guess I'll just wait here then. That's, uh, uh, that's the thing lower. So hey. Uh, <laughs> You, you don't hear that, sadly. That's just for the audience. Just some VI okay. sass. And, uh, yeah, you, uh, you're kind of like on the landing pad, you head down towards this, uh, Vesk. And obviously they punch you in the shoulders. Ah, uh, give a good old punch back. Oh. Give it a go. Uh, give it a good old punch back. It's such an angry I'm salute and I love it. Do that, it's so like aggressive. Okay, uh, yeah. Perfect. Feel, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Let me just do a wee, a wee gauge here. Okay, right, okay. They don't seem particularly impressed or unimpressed. And then um, the, <laughs> the Vesk says, It is an honour to meet you, the Abyss. Oh, it's. Nod. Like, so, let's get beyond the formalities. Get to the matter on why my crew has been tamed. And then, um, you know, it says, walk with me and I will, uh, we will debrief you on the way. And he just starts walking inside. Um, which, depending on this person's rank, is kind of rude. Because normally you would let the higher ranked person, you know, have the choice to go first or last. Um, mm -hmm. It's not assumed that the higher ranking person goes first. They may just decide that you should go first because they are more important than you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not. In, I'm not in duty. I said I'm not in working under the risk at this moment. So. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of why you, you don't really have a sway here at the same time because. You're not yeah. officially in the hierarchy. I don't. So I'm pulling the name and name on. Oh yeah. Pulling. And I mean, it does work, right? To a degree, like people do know of you, like especially if they're in the military, uh, more of a certain rank. And so you're led into like the kind of the facility, and like again, the corridors are a bit less than Vesk proportioned, shall we say, in general. Um, they are quite tall though, um, but they're a lot slender than what Vesk are used to, and like. Versus staff are awkwardly like walking past you, and obviously there's a there's a mixed bag of races here because it is the steward hub at the moment where there's loads of um, activity, given the recent or three weeks ago or was it five weeks ago now five weeks ago problems. Um, it's hard to keep track of when when everything was. I think it's five weeks since Absalom. I think that's what it is so far. I think. Um, but yeah, depends how long you took to set up the base. I think it was two weeks to set up the base. Um, and it was three weeks of random drift. So yeah, five weeks since Absalom. You head through the, the corridors anyway. And uh, the Vesk says, My commander wishes to debrief you personally on the matter, but in the interest of smoother relations with the populace of Versus, we have offered security in their domestic issues 
from the files I pulled, I believe you were already on planet when you had issues out in the solar wastes. I would not. Yes, we're looking at resolving this bandit problem. Infestation, you could say. We're looking at resolving that for the Versi's authority. And he kind of says that like like he thinks it's kind of beneath him, you know? Mm. Um, but not that he wouldn't Very commendable. <laughs> kind of snuggle. And then um, he just kind of goes, yes, 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 and kind of like waves his hand vaguely in the air, as if it's not really what we're here to talk about, though. And then he, he stops outside the door, and there's like a Vesk guard outside it, and then a steward guard <laughs> that looks awkward between the two Vesk that are like a foot taller than this guy. And then he nods, the door like swooshes open, and he kind of motions inside, and he says, I will go assemble your crew, and I will have them brought here. My commander is inside. That would be great. Yeah, he's already nod, just starts and I would enter. Yeah, he starts walking away as well <laughs> to go grab people. Um, so yeah, you enter. So... Oh, two seconds, two seconds. Be right back, two seconds. So I guess I'll just switch back to you guys then while we're waiting. Um, yeah, the door opens. Are you at the door or away from the door by this point? Um, I think I was standing back letting Zig do things, so I'm away I from the door. Probably standing at the door, um, trying to think of ways to get out or a plan of some description. Yeah, so the door like whooshes open. Um, so if you're like uh, leaning on it or whatever, yeah, like if you're leaning on it or whatever, you can like knock to the side a little. And there's just this um, eight foot vesk looking down at you, or like seven foot, eight foot vesk. Just, just staring at you until you do something. Hi. With me, it says in like a very Veskian accented kind of space common, and then heads off down the corridor. With him. Does that go with him or? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, okay. And then he just goes. Yep, I'll follow on as well. I just love the idea that if this was more of a comedy show, the camera would like linger in the room when Nick's left, and it would just reveal that the desk has been pulled apart, the chairs have been pulled apart, things have randomly been duct taped together somehow. Um, <laughs> some bizarre conspiracy Craig effort. Um, <laughs> like, we'll build a lock to lockpick to get out. <laughs> 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 um, luckily it's not that though. So yeah, you just head down the corridor. Yeah. Um, again, very kind of reinforced look to this place and you're being kind of trailed all the way back to uh, this room that I would rather have Zora reveal before you do. I'll just wait for Zora to be back. I am back, Zora. Good, good timing. Oh, so, the um, while you're doing this, that scene happened anyway. So, you head in and it's like a kind of almost command room. Um, there's like a big kind of flat table that's got a big holographic projection and it's um, <coughs> just like kind of daily statistics that come up, you know, as if um, this is where a lot of reports that seem important get filed um, and fed through this display. And there is a very, very noticeable VESC. They have, um, above each eye, they've got like three kind of deep red grooves carved in. Um, mm. Obviously, like kind of Demoratosh kind of. Yeah, I was about to say a very zealous man. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> it's very Demoratosh zealot. Yeah, very much. Um, and you just hear the voice kind of rumble through the room, and you're familiar to this kind of rumble because it is the kind of the same type of vibe you get from when you start to like mess with gravity, right? It's that kind of you know Darth Vader treble. You know, or bass even, not drill, be bass. I am Darth Vader bass through the mics. Um, and his voice has that rumble effect to it. And he says, The Abyss on Versus. And you just see like, him like, kind of like start to like clack his claws 
individually, like he's tapping his fingers. You know, the clack 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 against the uh, the glass of the holo display. Um, yes, it's the man himself. So. <laughs> it uh, definitely looks like the Grave Epoch Annihilator, Dmogish. Uh, yeah. Grave Epoch Annihilator. I'll just just see the rank. And he turns. Might I inquire as to why your so-called crew? And he kind of turns to like the data pad in his hand. And then he's got obviously can see that there's just a picture of Nix Five. He's like, why this Nix Five android seems to be implicated in a domestic explosion. Um, I have no idea about any explosion, so, and I don't know why my well my android companion would be involved either. And yet, from the audio records between your communication with my underling, you claim responsibility for them. I claim responsibility for my crew, but I don't claim some responsibility for the bombing of a... What was it? A diner? You said? And he kind of like motions with his data pad to like the whole display and it brings up like the wreckage of the diner. And you know that's not that far away from where you were taken, never mind where your secret base is. Okay. That kind of brings up like a holographic map of the neighbourhood and like the the buzz. Half of it's like, you know, in the way of being cleared out. Two seconds, okay. sorry, sorry, two seconds, sorry. It's so tense. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dun 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 oh, dun. Yeah, no, I wasn't sure if I was muted or not. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We got gotcha. <laughs> you. Make sure you got my whore. Whoa. Whoa. In there. Oh, we got them. We got them good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. So, I'm we'll, back. Welcome I'm back. back. Quick. I'm Beethoven. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so terrible. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. It was treble. Um, keep going. Okay. What was it? Towards me, not towards Yeah, to you. Like, so, where were we? What was the last thing I said? Because that totally threw me off. Um, he'd brought up the display of the, the dinner to be like, this is what I'm talking about. But he never said anything. He just kind of brought up that. And again, for you, you know that's... Even if you weren't fully aware of the dinner, maybe you are, like, retroactively. Um, like, you've been in that square. You know that's the place. Because as I said, you spent, like, two weeks here. So... Yeah, and you know that's like not far away from where the drop pod picked you up, and it's not far away from your base. Gravy pocket island. Uh, been on the, the neighborhood for the past two weeks due to a recent incident we had with our ship. That diner's just somewhere that we frequent to eat. Like, it's no coincidence that my android might be there. Yeah, this explains why they're implicated in a, a domestic bombing. Why were they in power armor? There was a second android. She's been tended to. Uh, our line of business right now isn't exactly the safest, and I mean, my android just feels safest than his armor. I mean, sure you can understand that sentiment. Are pre they prepared? He's kind of like, you can see that he's looking at Alice's file on his data pad now. He says, yes, you're injured android. Or should I be more accurate and say the, the more injured android of the two. Said something about your ship crashing because of a dragon. <laughs> a dragon? I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. We had some difficulty in hyperspace that damaged the ship and unfortunately we were caught in the crossfire and uh, with kind of like actingly wins <laughs> like the, the, the devastation at Absalom. So you're saying you're not only implicated in a domestic bombing on Versus 
the fallback location of the stewards, but you're also implicated in the Absalom disaster. <laughs> I would snag on and say you give me too much credit. I have given you no credit. Merely questions. The answer would be, I don't hold the power to do it Ab and Absalom. And you kind of like, there's the equivalent of like a kind of harumph, you know, like a snort, or like a kind of scoff, maybe. Um, and he turns and sits the data pad down on the uh, the holo display, like a like, clack. And he says, You're tasked by the Obsidian Star. Got a raised eyebrow from him, or an <laughs> ocular ridge. I would. Well, I think at this point maybe you realise there's nobody else in this room. Huh. I'd raise an ocular ridge back and I'd say I've been out of service for the past... He kind of waves his hand in front as if... Yeah, um, yeah. so he kind of waves his hand up to like dismiss whatever you're about to say to him. Is it? Do us both the, the service and respect to not lie to me. Are you in service? To the Obsidian Star currently. In service to me and my crew, sir. And your business on the verses, is it at a conclusion? You can tell that's kind of more of a implied command than it is I a question. <laughs> <laughs> it will be soon, hopefully. And kind of, um, Nick pulls his shoulders back ever so slightly. Kind okay, of looks even taller. And, um, like, this guy's maybe, maybe, like, it's hard to tell at a distance if you used two or different heights, but he's probably a tiny bit shorter than you. And, um, okay. he says, uh, I believe the versus control will release the suspects onto Vesk investigation. Assuming your business on verses is at an end. Wait, wait, what was he saying? No, sorry. It's basically. So he says, the v the verses control will release mm -hmm. the suspects to the Vesk investigation. Assuming your business. On the verses is at an end. So wait, they are taking them into custody, right? Is that what you're saying? I mean, you need a sense motive. Uh, okay. I'm not going to do very well here, but... Yeah. yeah, you're correct. You did not do well. You're not really sure if he's implying that you're getting them, or if he's implying that he's getting them. You kind of get the impression that there's a level of threat to it, but... Uh. Yeah. Then again, he is a Vesk, <laughs> and he, he considers himself outranking you, so there's always going to be a yeah. threat. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Otherwise, that might be seen as weakness, right? If you're implying that you're taking my crew into custody, so then got no right. I've done nothing wrong, and you've got no basis for it. And he kind of just looks at you, and like his teeth, like you can tell he hasn't noticed that he's like showing his teeth. And um, like you've grown bold in your absence, Zora. Perhaps. Do I not speak for the Viscarium? I'm sure you do, sir. But... Then... What right... Am I denied? The right of interfering with me and my crew. <laughs> and what authority... I feel like I've earned my right to... Live my own life after the war. 
Running from your responsibilities earns you nothing, Zora. Responsibilities sit at that desk. And then um, picks up the, the data pad again with his hand, but still staring at you. And then kind of like closes the distance between the two of you. And maybe this time he does seem like he's a bit taller than you. And he pushes the data pad against your chest. <laughs> and he says, You will leave versus today. Grunt. <laughs> and then um, he just kind of stands there awkwardly, so like the door is at your back, essentially, and he's there as if you're not allowed to come further into this room. Okay. I'll just take... I'll be getting my men back. He's just dead staring you. I'll take the data pad and walk out the door. Yeah, so you can like back out of the door, and then round the corner is the uh, the vest commander with the two, <laughs> shall we say, um, crewmates following uh, behind. And then, like as you're looking at them, you turn back to like the door with like gravy pock annihilator in the doorway. It just closes. <laughs> it just gave me the stink eye. <laughs> <laughs> um. And on the data pad, if you have a quick look at it, um, as they're approaching up the corridor, it basically says that you can take them on under the VESC investigation, which you would technically be responsible for. So you're now responsible for the outcome of whatever the Diner investigation is. And that will um, remand okay. them into your custody. Because basically, if they find out they may be guilty, I'm guilty as well now. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> but it means that they're in your custody. Okay. okay. I'm not leaving that beyond the day. This guy can go fuck him, sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You show the data pad to the commander guy. He salutes you by punching you and then walks away. Leaving the two of them with you. Okay. Well. You've had an eventful day. <laughs> That's to any one of you, Zig, or, uh, you know, next yeah. five. I, I was muted. Yes. I can. I too was muted. Fuck's sake. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're really making up for Colin, aren't you? It's, it's making up for me. I've been last muted today. I'm just the muted one. Uh, I was just saying, uh, yes, we encountered some issues. Hmm. I would yeah. sigh. See, haven't we all? Mo is here. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, I think like my face would change quite a bit. Probably. And Alice had an incident with her. I think the guards that are standing outside that door just look at each other awkwardly. <laughs> I would like be in to to like uh, to to Nix and I'd be like, "Shit, shit, they bought me down, did she? Shit, they bought me down, did she? On wall, not whispering. Hmm. <laughs> but whispering. <laughs> 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 you get me. I can't say no, Captain. <sighs> she at least kill her. Again. I wouldn't put money on it. <sighs> and where's Alice now? As far as I can understand, they've got, the, got her medical. Yeah, like it's the info's on the data pad if you want it. I would give next the day of ours. <laughs> cool. <laughs> You're the data guy. <laughs> I mean, luckily you can read Vesk, which is handy, so. Yeah. Should I take us to her? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and it is like literally that. It should just been held in like a medical room. Yeah. So. Yep. Um, there's a vest guard at the door. Zora, if you do your thing. Mm -hmm. Go up, salute him. Give him a good punch, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just it seems that. like such like a jock thing, doesn't it? Like it seems like <laughs> such like a frat house thing, and I love it. Um, yeah, back up my crewmate. Yeah. Give him the day, bud. Yeah, and like the credentials all check out, so yeah. Um, yeah. I think maybe as you're heading in, yeah. it's like, it's an honour, sir. Oh, it's lovely. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it definitely seems like a much younger vest. A true this patriot. One. A true patriot. And then, like, true young very, patriot. They very quickly like um, salute you again and say, for the Viscarium. Like, really enthusiastically. With a scarium, and again, I would eye roll as I'm leaving. <laughs> they <way>. scream, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you go in there, and Alice is there just talking about ships teleporting and dragons attacking everything, and people being turned to liquid. <laughs> Alice, Captain. She stands up and like salutes. Please excuse my crewmate. She's a bit insane. And then like, I mean, I don't know. It's probably an empty room, right? Like, I feel like it's. Empty <laughs> I was just. <laughs> like, I, I, feel... I would. I, would I, just, I just say openly, even to the guards. <laughs> yeah. And then like the little eager Vesk kid kind of like nods his head enthusiastically, and then just looks forward, like dead straight, as if you know. Look at me on guard. Um, <laughs> and Alice is like, they're gone. They took my cool armor. Oh, oh, shit. Uh, we'll get that back. What? Yeah, it's in the evidence storage, obviously. <laughs> so See, yeah. tip top shape. You're ready to go. Nothing hotting. She does that thing where she's kind of like looking over herself and she's like, I don't think so. Or yes. And she like screws up her face to be like realizing that you asked her two questions. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Get her stuff. Let's get out of here. Yes. And then she like yeah. picks up like the blanket from the bed. And just puts it over her shoulder. And like randomly looks on the desk and like picks up, you know, a chart. And just like clutches it against her chest. Do you head off to evidence storage then? Yes. Cool. Pick up all the stuff from a, a, a nicely convenient crate of cargo. If it was a video game, it would be the thing you click on to loot all and get all your equipment back. Yep. And it's maybe worth. Like it's maybe worth. The size of armor and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like you probably want to have um, that taken to the ship. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So. Because I bought my way, and there's not so many guards about, or preferably none, and keep your shot. Eh. Uh, that's a shit. Ooh. Is it ready to take us away? I would nod. Do we have anything left to do here? <laughs> Harsh cut to. Escape sitting drinking a latte. <laughs> nope, let's bounce. <laughs> so we can get back if we can come. If we do. No, what's I want to get a VI back on the ship. It's up. So. Let's just see if we can get. We can come back if we need to. <laughs> okay. We can pick up Lyco later. We had such a good business going. Hmm. The, it's not lost yet. The, the ooze goes up the ramp into the uh, workshop. <laughs> Since it worked its way all the way back to the base. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going back for my ooze. <laughs> like, we're going I back agree. for Lyco and I'm getting my fucking ooze. I mean, as far as you're concerned, the ooze is at the, the safe house as far as you're concerned, Zora, so... Yep. I'm hoping. And now it has because it's got there. Yeah. It's, it's full circle. Fucking, 
is such a good ooze, man. <laughs> so, so smart, man. I like it. Such a good boy. Yeah, such a good boy. It's the best boy. Best boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going back for that ooze. So but for now, let's just feign like we're leaving, shall we? <laughs> Certainly, Captain. I have no interest in staying here. Yes, sir. Let's go. So you said onto the shuttle. If you're gonna take some time to like suit back up and stuff, you can do. Um, if you're gonna try and like put Alice back into her suit, you can do as well. Um, since obviously it's gonna be hilarious watching the captain discuss things with the VI to get back in the sky and decide where to go. So yeah, you're back on the shuttle. Um, anyone familiar with Vesk ships? Um, which, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but I this definitely not. looks Vesk in design. It looks most like a flying brick. Um, like, they're not, they're not fancy, it's mostly it's like a transport shuttle um, to get from a ship in orbit to the surface of a planet and back again. So, I, I guess if anybody's seen Stargate Universe, it's probably like those little ships. Mm -hmm. It's probably a good way of thinking about it. Like a chunky puddle jumper. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, what's the, what's the word, Captain? Take this back to the ship, if possible. Anybody know how to fly this? Believe Zig. Zig. The ship. You sure. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Can I look at the console and see if I can fly it? I mean, uh, yeah, I can do it. But... See if I feel confident flying it. Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't know what you'd roll to feel confident flying it. You just fly it and see. I mean, I don't think you're going to be familiar with Vesk ships, right? So, no. if you wanted to roll piloting, we could see what happens in terms of you looking at the console. Yeah. Yeah. Just give that a go. See what happens. Yeah. See how intuitive Vesk um, piloting things are. Okay, so I think as you're kind of like looking over stuff, the VI pipes up. It's maybe a bit startling since you weren't expecting the thing to talk to you. And it's uh -huh. obviously, it speaks in Vesk, obviously. And it says. Uh, do not speak. You don't speak Vesk, no? No. Not currently. So yeah, it speaks a bunch of stuff in Vesk at you, which is probably horrible snarling and snapping sounds. Uh, I don't think it likes me. What did it say? <laughs> so yeah, have? yeah, it's not the biggest of cockpits, but yeah, you can go up there and uh, it's it's mostly saying, "Welcome back, Captain." It says, "Welcome back, Captain." No, I'm not. The, I'm not the captain. You're the captain. I was talking uh, to the captain. Fine. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget this got the voice. Uh, uh, hello, V. What do you even call this? Right? You, you named it final hour. You named it final hour. Like, it final final hour. Hour. It's just but, like that's what you you designated it as. Yeah. Calling it Finn. Right. It's Finn. Called Finn. Cool. Uh, it's getting called Finn. Hello, Finn. <laughs> Is that to be my new designation, Captain? Absolutely. How may I serve you, Captain? Eh. Uh, okay, pull us a route back to the, the, the final level. Ship. I don't have a designation for the final hour. That was my old designation. Oh my god, stop that final hour. <laughs> okay, you had your final your new designation. It's final hour. <laughs> Take us back to the final hour. Captain, I believe you. You seem to be confused between a ship designation and the VI designation. We are yes, not one and yes. the same. My apologies, VI. I'm not exactly the technical minded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, um... Let me see if I can work this out. There we go. There's the ship in which the shuttle belongs to is the VTS is like OS 757B. Do you wish to redesignate this ship? 
Yes, yes. We Re designate the ship to the final level. Very good, Captain. Good. And my designation good. is to remain Finn. Yes. Excellent. Would you like me to plot a route to the final hour? Absolutely. Plotted. Zack. <laughs> yes. Take it away. Sorry. Right. Punch it. Let's do it. <laughs> Home. Would you, you like me to translate <laughs> to the Yusuke? Yes. yes. Oh, no, Basic will be fine. That. I don't know why I was Basic will be fine. Sorry. Push the green button. Righto. What? 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 What do I call it? Fen. Fen. Right over in, and then he slams the green button. And, and then, like the the shuttle starts to like shake, um, as like the engines power up, and then the shot on the outside is just all like the kind of like panels from the outside where the engines kind of deploy and just blast down a bit like the drop pod. And the thing like ticks off, and you just hear the 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 VI say, "Very good." <laughs> you pushed that button good kid. And then, um, well, you've done a lot better than what Fenra would have. <laughs> That's what you should have called it, Fen. <laughs> that would have been good. Um, it's like, sorry, we need to read it again. It's like so you only get two every 24 hours. Oh. Um, but yeah, so it's, this thing starts heading up uh, back into orbit. Not even going to call him Lyco or nothing. I'll call him when I get back to the ship. Cool, cool. Yep, so if there's no other uh, business to attend to in the trip up, anyone want to say anything to each other in the trip up, maybe? <laughs> so, <laughs> I've had a good idea. What have you got us involved in now? <laughs> <laughs> and then I think at that point, like, uh, as you say, like, I've got quite a idea, what have you got us involved in now? Alex? A diner fell on us. I was just that laugh. I yeah, actually feel like I would actually laugh kind of the way I did there. Mm -hmm. Just to see. Yeah, that's what I've got. <laughs> like, uh. oh. Ready to oh, stop, hey. blah, blah. Because we've been so successful at that thus far. <sighs> I think we might be at war, Captain. I think I've been a war for ages. <laughs> I mean, I've. Oh, you cut off there. I, I said our former employer. Um. Uh, M.O. Yes, Alice shot her. And Alice like just like turns around really quickly, like an open mouth, like <gasps> as if you told. <laughs> she doesn't actually say anything. She just looks like full shocked. I was like, I just kind of, I roll because I kind of guessed this. Oh. Um, well, I mean, it's nothing I wouldn't have done if I seen her again, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> 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 that doesn't resolve the fact that we're now at war with in with hand galactic arms dealers I've lost all of that sorry it says it doesn't resolve the fact that we're at war with pan galactic uh, arms dealers I believe <laughs> yes <laughs> well uh, it's better than being at war with the uh, Iscarium right is that what you're going to do next <laughs> no I'm going to try and stop that didn't you say that Emma O was going to pay us to start a war? Do you think she'll still pay us if the war is with her? No. And please, Alice, no more of that. Please. Yes, yes, no. Oh, spontaneous terrorism, please, Aris. Al Al Aris. Aris. Alice. 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 Yes. I think the captain's broken. Yes. 
I do think from now on we need a moratorium on artillery diplomacy. She kind of like screws up her face a little bit. She's like, so how come it's okay if you do it? I very, very rarely shoot first. And that's the mm -hmm. that's the only time I've ever fired it. Yeah. It's best to find out who you're shooting at first. And why. Fig starts to feel slightly guilty about the... <laughs> the bandit. <laughs> Flashes of horror. Um, I think like, Alice like, kind of like folds her arms in front of her and like leans back as if she's really thinking. And she's like... But... It felt right. You know? Like, you know when you know you need to shoot someone? Sig <laughs> subtly nods. See? I'm just kind of a subtly nod in this way of defense. <laughs> 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 I'm yes. I love the idea that the shot is just Nyx in the middle sitting across from her, and then at either side it's like little Zig nodding, and then Big Zora nodding slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and her like, it's look, like... I'm getting approval! <laughs> the kid makes sense for a change. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you know, and she's kind of like aiming that at you next because you're the, like the one that obviously she's kind of focused on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think like as you like hesitate. She kind of like unfolds her hands and puts like them on her hips, and she's like, "I know, I've only been independent for a year, but she looked evil as shit." <laughs> she is evil as shit. So we're good. She got a big smile on her face. No. No. And the smile drops instantly. Oh. You don't kick a bear. I didn't kick her. You make sure you're a long way away and then you set off the explosives. So like five tables instead of three? Not with that weapon. Okay. We should... And not with innocent in the area. And she kind of like screws up her face because you can tell she's desperate to ask something else, right? But she doesn't push it. I'd raise an android eyebrow inviting it. Yeah, like she's not looking at you. She's kind of like looking down as if she's pondering it, you know, that way, but she isn't offering it up. But she is kind of like, clearly something is eating at her. She's quite emotive for an android, to be honest. <laughs> But yeah, you can you can ask her about it, or you can leave her to her thoughts. It's up to you. Same goes for everything, because you can all see the fact that she was about to like lean into that question, but or that statement. I think Zig would say, "You, you're right, Alice." You're very quiet again. Okay. I think he would say, "Are you, are you, are you right, Alice? You, you, you okay?" And she's like, "Sorry about this, Zig." And then she turns back to the other two and she says, So, the kid melts people, but I get into trouble. What, how do we define innocent people? <laughs> Weren't those people out in the solar wastes just trying to survive? That was self defense. That was them or us. So, how is that different from? What I did. Those people weren't shooting at us, they were drinking coffee. She like, you can tell that she's kind of like getting what you're trying to say, but she's still struggling to like put everything into them because she has been taught very little about morals. <laughs> <laughs> so far her main lessons were it's okay to lie sometimes. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> she is kind of, she is kind of struggling with this, um, but she's like, 
I think I need time with this. I can give you some books to read on it if you want. It's just like, kind of slowly nods, but that way like, a kid that's been told off doesn't want to talk normally because they're embarrassed. Um, yep. So she's a bit like kind of reserved and then she kind of turns again in her kind of mood and looks at Zig and her face kind of softens a bit. It kind of implies that she's still sorry that she brought that up. Um, and then and she kind of... I don't think, I think Zig's just silent. <laughs> kind of looking at the floor a wee bit. Yeah, and I think like maybe that's maybe why she looks a bit sad when she looks at you after she's kind of like down that kind of sorry, and then realizes you're looking at the floor awkward now, and she's like, "Oh god, this is even more awkward." Um, and then you just hear from the background you've got Finn perking up and going, commencing docking with the final hour, and then yeah, you hear like the mechanical clunks as the shuttle. Clamps into the thing lower. Yeah. You can transfer yourself back to the final level. Fun. Excellent choice, Captain. And then uh, the consoles will go dark. Shit. Painless. That was painless. Yeah. <sighs> So, so is this their new home? Um, well, the well, eleven if I was in Pearl. Seems like a good placement for now. There's a little bit more suited to more con tasks. Yeah, this is like a proper ship. No offense to the eleventh hour. <laughs> <laughs> there was not like duct tape and weird crystal growths as engine replacements. I like the duct tape. Uh, that's a little bit of a hitch though. What? As always. But this time it might actually be the right choice. Mm -hmm. For a change. Uh, seems like a Lord Commander Demogesh, the, the gravy book and highlighter wants to start a war. Part worlds. I mean, I don't know how much you know about like Vesk politics, but I don't know how much of that would even translate to any of you. I imagine Nix understands it. I uh, very so. little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to give a wee cultural, and we'll see how well. Sure. Um, for both of you, if you want to do that. Cool. Boom. Thirty two. Yeah. <laughs> I spent time on the books. Yeah, and I think like Zig, I think you maybe know that. All of those words mean it's a like somebody very important in the Viscarium, I guess. Uh -huh. yeah, I don't like a bombard a planet. No, 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 Zig's very young. <laughs> mm. yeah. But Zig has um, travelled many times. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you probably know of a like head of the Vesk is the Gravy Pock Annihilator. It's kind of hard to forget, really, isn't it? Is a name, so yeah. It stands out. Yeah, so maybe that's why you both know of it. Next, you probably know a bit more of the minutia of the Vesk and like placements in <laughs> relation to the captain, maybe. So. Yep. I research who I'm working for. Yeah, legally or otherwise. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, carry on. Zora? Seemingly he's leading pretty much a takeover of the Viscarium as we speak. It's pretty much splitting into two at this point. It's practically a civil war on their hands. That's, well, that seems really general polite. Consensus. What was that said? Alice that was just like interrupts goes. It sounds very polite. Hmm. The general consensus, though, is that Demogesh is probably going to win. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't Civil War, know. polite. Yep. Polite, oh. Yeah. Oh, right, of course, right, of course. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, Alice isn't above making terrible dropped. jokes, right? She doesn't get the, it. The penny's dropped. 
the penny has dropped. <laughs> I'll just kind of eyeball at that, I suppose. Since I... <laughs> they scream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your comm starts going. Oh, uh, answer. Yeah, it's um, escape. Ah, Miss Fuller, 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 Fuller. I get one a week, right? That's a, <laughs> that was it. Can never say it again. Um, yeah, shall I? Dora. <laughs> uh, you dying? Yeah, I've got a wayward flock here. And you just hear a quint mumbling something in the background. Like, he needed my comm to reach you. Can you send me your coordinates, please? <laughs> I would send those the coordinates. <laughs> yeah, and then. Like are you like you are still in the shuttle at the moment? Um so you've docked as you all gather your crap up and leave the shuttle. There's a giant gold doorway just standing in like the middle of the kind of shuttle kind of bay. And out walks SK and Lyco. Ah. That's a neat track. Yeah, an expensive Hi. one. Hello. Every day in the door. Hello. And she like thumbs over her shoulder. <laughs> and like all like cocks his gun. Because that's dramatic, right? Well, I guess new home can wait. Have an arrow. <laughs> Step through the door. So pushy. Follow the captain. So let me find exactly where we are in this. Also, let me put a viewpoint on this because apparently I didn't do that. Because I'm a fool. Let's dump it here. There we go. So, Zig. I assume everyone can see this by the way now. It's a dead drown. Yep. So, Zig, there is a very familiar humidity to this place. Oh god. Kind of hot dampness. It's, a, it's a very, very vault corridor-esque. Entirely, yeah. Like 100%. Yeah. yeah. Um, not, um, not nice at all. And, uh, no. I can uh, bring that to the front. Like that. I think Zig just goes, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nope, oh, I need to undo that last thing I did. Because that is not good. Thirty seconds. I'll move that to the front. And also move it to the token layer. And then move back. Move to the front. There we go. Good. Everything matches again. Stupid visual points. I need to set it up like I've got it in my Friday game, where each player that shares a viewpoint with Tales of Triumph. I need to do that for your tokens. I just keep forgetting. Um, so I don't have to have that Eye of Janus viewpoint on there. So yeah, you just walk into this sweaty, hot, kind of damp kind of room. The walls kind of glisten ever so slightly. A kind of hardened, almost chitinous or chitinous, depending on your pronunciation, floor. Um, and yeah, there's just bodies of dry everywhere. SK's already got like a massive gun in her hands. And yeah, I think we end there. Well done. She just says, uh, "I think maybe we even have the welcome to the vault." And then welcome to what? Sorry, you welcome just to off. the vault. To the vault. Mm. Yeah. We'll go back to the. I'm unarmed. Still not. <laughs> yep. Yep. We'll sort that out, don't worry. We'll sort that out. So, um, yeah. Let us name the session, shall we? Um, uh. Yeah. 
couple of suggestions. I mean, I like that's not Zora. Um, luck is for the weak. Um, final hour. Jumpstart. Welcome to the vault. So yeah, there's a few options I've got, but what are your thoughts as players? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's something to do with authority because there's just so much authority figures in it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um. I fought the law and the law one. <laughs> I had it to lift if you want, yeah. <laughs> and, um, so they got. I thought authority and authority always wins. A great <laughs> reference to. song that's basically I fought the law, but I fought authority. I mean, they do break into. <laughs> I fought the law in that wrong song. Yeah, feel free to. Um, we could have even just I fought the law. If you wanted that to be the title. Um, I think <laughs> I do like that to be honest. I like, like some of those lines. Any of the three were pretty good as well. Yeah, they're all pretty decent. I'm trying to think what else happened, right? So we had new ship acquisition, so that was a thing. Um Don't know if there's like a a title worthy of that. There's um I don't know. The parting verses we've got the Golden Door. Got. I feel like Welcome to the Vault is maybe too spoilery. Um, yeah. Aye, uh, aye. It's pretty much like when's the vault cooking. Yeah. It's um, a goal for this I, to I, this. I like I fought the law. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fought the law. Yeah. I think that works on you. Yeah. I fought the law and I met the law. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Nice notice of the. I was about to just. I was about to bring it up. I was like, "Is that some sort of fancy pun that I didn't didn't understand?" Was it that? wasn't. It was me trying to type in three places at once. We've also got um, um, on what authority is also. I guess what kind of Nico was getting at at the start of the naming was the uh, who who was in charge of what and when. Um, but yeah, no, I'm good with it. Uh, I fought the law. Add that in. Let's have a look. I fought the law. Let's go to that extra read mark. There we go. Good, good, good. That is in there. I feel like Out of the Fire, which is the title of Chapter 6, might need to be renamed given what you're doing. So, just like heavily into the frying pan, you know? <laughs> and the file, though. Yeah, into the fire. Ah, we could just get an episode with Woodley. I just called into the fire. It's just like the fire, into the fire, out of the fire. Out of the fire, into the sun. It's the old fire hokey cokey. Yeah. Into the fire. Goals. Let's talk about goals. So, Zora. Mine's a semi-complete, semi-not. It's not entirely fleshed out yet, I guess, but semi-complete. Yeah, what would complete it? Uh, just telling everybody, I suppose. Like, like, because Lyco doesn't really know anything yet and stuff. Yeah. Probably actually affects him the most. Yeah, I feel like it's probably really geared at Lyco, that one. Uh, uh, so I would agree. Next five, still a work in progress. Yeah, Alice has derailed all my attempts at doing anything. So to be fair, she doesn't get a lot of screen time. When <laughs> she does, she makes the most of it. I would never be so responsible with explosives. I mean, I'm hoping. Looks at Captain. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think. Lycos will come up very specifically. Like, the wording is bad, I guess, for Lycos, but mm. I get what he means. Um, yeah, and then Zig. Yes. Cool. 
I mean, I'm happy with my goal, but in fairness, I could plonk any one of the goals in there. And it would be. Yeah. I think what else we got? There's a few. I still love the who is Zig and what does he do. <laughs> um, yeah. We can obviously have another think about goals, because you yeah, can kind of guess what's coming up next. I am. Is this the vault that is, like, discovered my connection with the vault? Because that could be an easy oh, yeah. thing straight away, yeah. you know, like, that could be an easy wee cheeky, cheeky completion, yeah. if that's not too cheeky, like... <laughs> I mean, feel free to swap out, it's why we talk about goals. Yeah. Mm, it's a good catch, to be honest. Well, I noticed. Mm. Good, good, good. And just obviously dump oh, that fun. in the over the other list. Oh, no. oh balls, balls it up. Anyway. Yeah, I'll just allow you to fix all that in the background. Um, let us start with Nick's five for the cutdown chat. Yes. <laughs> um, I actually just thoroughly enjoyed getting to see more Vesk politics. Mm. Was obviously the highlight being getting our ship and yeah. not being able to fly it. But um, <laughs> uh, luckily, the Vesk are smart that way. Whether they build computers to do that for some of them, you know. Yeah, no, that was that was helpful. Otherwise, we'd be stuck in there forever. Ma I um, can't wait for Zig to try and mind meld with Finn, because who even knows what's going to happen with the ship at that point? God. Please no. <laughs> um. Now what was the other one? Yeah, the uh, best completely failing on <laughs> figuring out my bullshit. <laughs> it was just. Um, the, <laughs> why else would I be here looking like this? I guess that could make sense with a two-kilometer explosion from conspiracycraig.com. <laughs> <laughs> it is the best source of dino exploding information <laughs> online. <laughs> I feel like it's just like Wikipedia where MD can go in and edit it. Like, <laughs> it's so bad. Um, I love it, it though, because like, regardless of what else the modder flower was, rolling a one is gorgeous on stuff like that. And it's like, they don't believe you, but they don't not believe you that it, you look crazy enough that you could have set a bomb. Yeah, I was, I was kind of going down the path of they're not going to believe me if I give them an actual excuse. Yeah, and so then, just look, and that's enough to. Um, well, that's a, that's a nice way as a player to get out of a safe mode. I don't know if I can bluff them enough, but if I look crazy enough, <laughs> doesn't matter what I see. They'll yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> they'll they'll take me away. They keep me somewhere safe, away from MO. Yeah, which um, God knows what's going to happen with her, right? Because let's face it, they're going to uncover her at some point. So we should have just poured concrete in there. <laughs> That's the next there. plan. Yeah. Feeder to the ooze. Um, it was. Yeah. Damn her. No, it was good. Tell. It was good. Um, I really do I like the. Double tap. <laughs> tell, don't tell that to Alice. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> it's charging for the second shot. <laughs> oh no. So good. I mean, I guess like a lesson we need to kind of teach her. <laughs> Till next time. I mean, <laughs> maybe teaching her anything might be useful. That isn't just lie when it suits you. Um, I mean, <laughs> I feel like I'm a terrible father and should be asked to be one. <laughs> I will teach her the way of ethics. <laughs> it's gonna be like the good place, but the android. Not is. Father figure. Okay. <laughs> it's the good place for androids. Yeah. Um, I think um, Zora is obviously just. Uh, the, the the demon in charge, right? So yeah, here's Michael. <laughs> yeah, Michael. <laughs> oh, so oh. good, so so good. I'm, being, I'm I'm trying to be that moral guy, right? But that only goes so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I mean, it does it, only go. It so doesn't far. come naturally. No, 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 definitely not. Don't be daft. What's natural about it? Um, I think as well with that, like, it was interesting getting to see, like, Nyx be a bit. Almost disappointed or even angry with um, like the recklessness of Alice, I guess. Yeah, um, I like that because while I don't think any of us as players disagree with what she did, I don't necessarily think like the the method maybe. 
Yeah, no, as I said, I think for Nix, it's mostly the, it's the risking the innocent lives. Yeah. It's selfish. Yeah. And that's the, like, like the Lyco Nix conversation super cool for that as well, because it focuses on that he's like, there's nobody here, Nix 5. And you're like, but they wouldn't have been illusions. That doesn't make any sense. Mm hmm. And obviously, that oddity, right? Because, like, yeah. what is that about? Um,. And I mean, there was nothing suspicious about the comings and goings of people in the diner. It was just like all of a sudden you noticed they already stopped. Like any scene oh. from an X-Men movie where Xavier yeah. wears himself in. I'm not that, compis- I'm not that conspiracy, Craig. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can guarantee that Alice will be making herself an account and updating her blog on there. Um, yeah. Just dragons and ships crashing and space stations blowing up and... You know, cake that seems to always get eaten. Um, <coughs> yep, she'll be there. Um, Zig? I liked all of Zora's interactions and stuff. I really liked him sort of pulling rank, well, I guess age. <laughs> um, with the. <laughs> with just putting his arm around him and there. Right, looks up. <laughs> that poor engineer. <laughs> 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 and then um, getting us a sweet new ship. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I mean, yeah, that would be fine, right? Is it? I mean, would I give you a new ship just to have you die in a vault somewhere? Like, <laughs> yes, exactly yes. what you would do. Good. I'm glad you're learning. So be smart in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I plan to make it out alive again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I promise nothing. I mean, yeah. I am alive. Yeah. True facts. Yeah, that is true. For now. Um, the thing is, well, though, right, is I've been foretold of the vault for quite a while now. Um, quite early on. I'm pretty sure it might have come up with Edgar, maybe, right at the start, um, before he was ever in the vault. Um, I was talking about how the Black Dragon lost a fortune. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Also, just I love the idea that you've got this kind of angelic-like being that you have dubbed SK, besides bitch. And then, um, yeah, she, the the big golden, almost heaven-like doors that appear from nowhere, and then they lead you to. Like, you know, the vault, the bank of Abadar, right? But yet it's some horrible, creepy, sweaty, humidity-ridden... Very dank. Yeah. It's just... It's just ugly, isn't it? <laughs> kind of yeah. gross and ugly. So yeah, anything else you want to add, Zig? Um, <clears throat> I just like the veskiness of it. <sighs> yeah. It's been Vesk. good. It's been nice to actually like get the Vesk involved, to be honest. Um, yeah. It's been a long time coming, quite frankly. It's interesting, for sure. Mm. I look forward to killing them all. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, look forward to, I look forward to killing all the Demogesh, for sure. But then I feel like Lyco's really itching to do that too. Um, mm. So, mm. it's going to be interesting. It's going to be definitely very interesting. Plus, I think it's like the, the like I say, I think it's like the First thing that's probably. Well, I, I, let's actually do this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, weighs up pros and cons and goes, you know, this one actually seems okay. <laughs> like, all things considered, we might morally be the good guys. <laughs> yeah. I would never doubt that. Alice is already charging the cannon. I, um... I feel like we've never done anything truly bad. Try to think. The arms dealers. Working for the arms dealers. Yeah. Working for the arms dealers is definitely bad, right? But and I you mean, did work for Emma O right? doing nebulous things. Um, was that more like using the Emma O to help us do nebulous things for other people? Yeah, but that's like saying I'm only <laughs> it was it was still arms dealing. Yeah, it's like it's yeah, like saying it I'm was. only using the gun to get the money from the people. Okay, right, fair <laughs> enough. Okay, not morally right. Nix has been protesting slightly the whole time. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, I've been paid again. I'll protest tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
got Damn money the reality of this. Food, right? Right. <laughs> well, it's kind of... Yeah, okay, right, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, I think, like, on that note, do you want to give us your, your feedback from the game? Uh, oh, I, I enjoyed the... The, the cop shenanigans and the incel shenanigans as much as it was as much as much it was the like an RP just mm. both of like what can I do just imagine both the door and I'm like oh no please don't please don't <laughs> please don't actually make yourselves terrorists kind of random klaxon sounds outside the door do you know what I mean it's good uh, it's definitely good uh, yeah, I was surprised there wasn't any like absolute like vandalism of the the chairs and desks and stuff. Quite frankly, it was, um... yeah, it was mostly an, a lack of equipment. Yeah, which is sometimes good, I think. Um, yeah, gets but... your lateral thinking going. Yeah, There's plus I mean, I think it lets you know how powerful people like Zig just instinctively are without stuff as well, though. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? okay. Like scarily powerful. If Zig's responding, you're on mute, by the way. Um, but yeah. Anything else you these two? Yeah. Uh, I also enjoyed the Zora Vesky, all the Veskiness. It's always fun. It's nice seeing the the, the big big man. Yeah, Maratosh. right. Demogesh. Oh, the man, Demogesh. That's the old demo, mm. demo guy. The many demos, man. I think right? he probably wouldn't hate someone calling him Demogesh. Uh, man. He's my zealous fucking yeah. slits up on his noggin. Yeah, he definitely like, and they look like they've just been clawed in repeatedly to scar. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like he's not absolutely like God. We can't kill that guy, guys. <laughs> my eyes are even crazier than the dragon. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, <Right. laughs> to be it's fair, dragon. If you were smart, right? Hemani did say. He owes you a boon for the help you have given him, and you're about to kind of shove that in his face. So, right? That's what we do. Yeah. I mean, we were kind of forced into that situation. I really wanted to work with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could at least profit from it. <laughs> we could get a boon that girl. I mean, I'll do for that. I, mean, <laughs> I feel like SK might have something to say about that one. I, I, that's exactly why I've got the problem. I like, guess it like, just depends. Who do you want to piss off less? Um, okay, it's not after bad carbon off all day, not this, right? It's the bag, right? I mean, like, we'll fucking. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, is this a favour or is this cleaning up your mess? Since you uh, did. It's hand... a bit of both, but she did get us into the mess. Did you? Yeah, it's all her fault. It's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I feel like there's a lot of people that volunteered to do about three different missions that involve getting the Drow Queen. Um, we could teleport to him by her, right? Right? Did you? Was it all that bad teleport device on the ship that actually put us there? I mean, was that her? I mean, we we got some nice cutscenes that showed power suit Alice that later seemed to have an SK inside it. Yeah. So it's all too too perfect. Mm. It's too perfect. But then you did think Edgar was in Emblem Ted, so Ted. Mm. That's too we, we should just kill them all just because they <laughs> <laughs> No Alice is uh, totally on board with that kind of plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Uh-huh. It'll be fine. Be out of self-defense. Should I call it Gen <laughs> for genocide? Um, the yeah, the session was fun. Obviously, it's a much shorter session given that we don't have Colin because normally he takes up a good ten minutes for his Colin chat, which is always thoroughly enjoyable for how detailed he ends up, which is good. Um, so I guess in conclusion, my feedback is that. I'm still enjoying this game. It's super easy to write this game for you guys. I'm loving the shift in tone, I guess, of the game. Um, like there still seems to be the the party focused nonsense that we kind of turn up for, quite frankly. Um, like you know, oozes throwing out hard hats and <laughs> wobbling to translate things. <laughs> <laughs> You're very quiet, Genzig personal favourite of mine yeah 
so far the pseudonym Ivan. Um, but yeah, I like the, the the shenanigan level of this, but I also like the fact that you're kind of like weighing into like some even heavier kind of galactic politics. Like mm -hmm. you knew you were politics. Yeah, because you were in like a kind of what's the word a bed of vipers maybe with them. Um, Aspis, right? Uh, maybe a bit, a bit of Aspis would have been better for that analogy. But, um, like, Aspis Consortium do not seem above board. But then, if you remember rightly, Emma O didn't <laughs> seem to know about what Edgar had you guys doing. So, she obviously took over. <laughs> took a very strong interest in you guys. And then, you just went and dealt with the Drow Queen. And then handed what seems to be the vault key of the Drow Queen to Hamani, who Edgar went with, if you remember. Um, so yeah, it's interesting, like, who even is whose ally anymore, right? Hmm. We, we are our own allies. allies. <laughs> like, as much as we joke about Lyco's conspiracy room, maybe we need one of those boards that lets us know, right? So they liked them until this happened, and then they now like them, and they're with them. And then um, the Radiant Supreme's obviously like, Zig, go check out the stranger. And Zig's yeah. like, what does that mean? <laughs> We're just trying to make our way through life, all right? <laughs> and all these big, crazy fucking corporations are coming to fucking be big, big meanies to us. It's so awful. I feel like this is what... This is Stephen's excuse. Okay, Nico? This is Stephen's it's excuses. Not fault. It's not my fault. Um, it's not my fault. And I think you'll find it, it kind of is. Is it, though? <laughs> really I mean, there's sessions where you're recorded agreeing to everything Emma O said, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Know, like, and it was you. And then you just get flipping stabbed with a big crazy black onyx legs. Right? right. I, mean, <laughs> I don't right. know, she didn't, she didn't actually seem that robust at all, did she? I mean, she did fall apart quite quickly after a wee plasma blast, so... I know, I mean, maybe I should have a double fought my attack. Plan at that, but hindsight, put it <laughs> I mean, who's to say that she isn't just a normal person with weird cyberized legs and? Who's to say she isn't actually dead? Right, and then there's probably gonna come back with all the vengeance and all her heart. Well, I mean, I feel like Nick did really omit that bit where he was sitting watching her click back together. So, yes. and then the part where Lyco drops the debris back on her. <laughs> I I said she wasn't dead. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. No, that, that, yeah, I'll awesome. give you that. That, that. that is definitely very clear, actually, yeah. <laughs> Her not being dead means she's still a problem, yeah. Yeah. yeah I must have skipped that mentally. Um, but yes, I think um, some good old combat next time seems to be appropriate, everyone, so maybe use the time between now and whenever that actually happens um, to to brush up on how your people work because I remember my people that I am my people the next session we'll deal with all the scheduling in a wee second once we stop recording anything else to add anyone? I think I'm good here no, thank you for running oh, for real. thank you and thank yeah, you for playing everyone. Be good. thank you for thank running you. again yes. yes and we'll see everyone next time in the Fragments of Eternity bye bye goodbye everybody goodbye, goodbye.